Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sound Envision in Bolton. You're looking at today the Panasonic SC BTT270. This unit is a 3D home theater system consisting of five satellite speakers and a subwoofer. The subwoofer itself is nice and compact, uh, so you can get it in the corner, maybe behind your TV or behind a piece of furniture out of the way. Um, the unit itself has a bass reflex port on the front here and the speaker at the side. So as long as you're not covering the front or the side of the speaker, you can pretty much get that in any location at all. You can have it uh, mounted vertically as you see it here, or you can also pop it on its back whichever way you want that to be mounted. The unit itself delivers uh, 160 watts per channel through the satellite speakers and 200 watts from the subwoofer, giving a total output of 1000 watts. Now, as I said, this is a 3D home theatre system, so it'll play 3D Blu-ray DVDs. It will also play uh, normal Blu-ray DVDs, standard DVDs, as well as CDs as well. It also has an FM AM radio built into it. The unit itself uh, will also uh, adapt normal 2D footage to 3D as well. So if you've got a 3D TV and you've got, um, say, a collection of DVDs already, you can also adapt this unit to play those normal DVDs in 3D as well. On the front of the unit, underneath the flap here, you've got a SD card reader and there's also a USB slot there as well. The unit will uh, play DivX, DivX HD, um, MKV, MP3, JPEG and MPO files. Um, we're going to have a look at the units in a moment, so we'll just switch it on. The on-off switch is just at the top there, and it should appear on the TV in just a second. The remote control um, and the buttons we're going to be concerned with on here are going to be things like the up, down, right and left keys, OK in the centre, and the option button just here. So this unit's just coming on now. Very simple setup as well, this unit. All the sockets are colour-coded, so if I just unplug one of these now for you. The actual speaker connection, for instance, for the subwoofer, uh, which is this unit here, has a purple plug on the actual lead itself. All the sockets are colour coded on the back of here, purple, green, red and so forth. You just push the corresponding coloured plug into the corresponding coloured socket, which you'll see on the, uh, on the screen here. Now, very straightforward, very easy to set up. The unit itself has also got a iPod dock just at the front here. Um, you've got a uh, facility to put your iPod or your iPhone on here. On the screen now, uh, we've just switched this unit on as if you were getting this on, just getting it out of the box. And it says, would you like easy setup? You've got options of yes or no. Well, we'll take the easy option. So we've got up, down, right and left on the keypad. If we just click it over there to yes, press OK. It will just um, ask us some information on screen there. We've got it linked up with a HDMI lead from the back of this unit into the TV. And it will ask us for the configuration that we want the speakers to be in. So whether you want all your speakers at the front, so you've got your centre, uh, your left, right, and your rear, uh, right and left, uh, all at the front, or whether you've got them configured behind you. The majority of people who are going for a full 5.1 system like this will have the speakers behind them, but it gives you the option you can have it either way. So you would select which configuration you've got. At the moment we've just got all the speakers here, so we'll actually can, uh, select configuration 2. And then it will ask us to do a speaker check. When we ask it to do the speaker check, basically it will send noise out to each speaker and ask us then to confirm whether each speaker is working. So we'll uh, say yes for the speaker check. And it's just going through each speaker, it's showing you on screen here, centre, right speaker, right surround and subwoofer. And now it will ask us to confirm whether all those speakers are actually working. So could we hear sound from all those speakers? So the answer to that one is yes. If it was no, you would have to go through your speaker connections, you've got one of them not wired um, correctly. And then it goes through various other options again. So select speakers to output sound from a two channel source such as a music, CD, radio, um, and you can uh, yet again go through all the settings. So you've got standard out, multi channel out. So we'll go for multi channel on here. So that's that done. And then you've got options here for how you want to listen to the sound from your TV. So if you're watching something on your TV, whether it's BBC, ITV, and so forth, and you want the sound to come through this system, if it's a, a, an up-to-date TV from Panasonic, you can feed the sound via the HDMI back to this system. So you only need the HDMI lead, 
from HDMI 2 using what they call the ARC audio return control from the TV to the system. If you've got a slightly older TV and doesn't give you the option of the ARC facility through the HDMI, you can output the sound from the TV auxiliary, which is the standard red and white sockets, into this unit or digitally using the optical connection. So you just select accordingly. On this one, we've got it wired up with the HDMI for art control, so we'll just press OK. And we'll just switch that on. Yet again, giving you different options here. Um, when on is selected, power consumption during standby will increase on or off. So you've got different options there to reduce the power consumption. And you are pretty much there, you're, you're done. It's asking us now to set up um, the network facility on here. This particular unit has got an ethernet uh, port on the back. So if you connect an ethernet lead to this, then basically you've got some web facilities through this unit as well. So on here where it says network, if we go up to there, we can access various websites through this unit. So we'll have available things like YouTube and one or two other facilities on here. You'll have cinema trailers where you can go onto a section on here and look at what's on at the cinema and get various trailers. So at the moment it's highlighted in blue here. If we move that over now, we can go onto things like YouTube. We're onto the YouTube site now. We can go down to most viewed and then just select the video you would want, just bring it down the scale here, press OK and it will start to load that video in the box here. You can also, once it's loaded on here, you can expand that screen out there to full screen as well, uh, so you can have a, a full picture of that as well. So as I said, you've got some web function through here as well. I'll just come back out of that now. And we'll have a look at one or two other menus on the screen. So we've taken a quick look at network facility through there. Uh, you can also go into uh, things like photos. So in the photo menu, as I said before, you've got on the front of there things like the USB SD card reader. If you've got a, a camera that takes an SD card, pop it into the front of the unit here. Select SD on the menu and you can have your photographs on screen. You've also got, if we come out of that menu, um, things like for music and yet again the music menu you can have select USB or disc and you can have your music playing from the USB through here as well. You have got uh, said iPod facilities through the front here just underneath the flap there you've got your iPod dock yet again if you want your iPod playing through it just select iPod and you've also got adjustments for the sound as well so as we come down there if you want to adjust the tone of the unit you've got Four presets on there for flat, soft, clear or heavy, which will give you more bass. So there's a quick rundown on this um, Panasonic unit, the SCBTT270. Um, this unit is set up in both our Bolton and Leeds stores. Um, if you go to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk, not only will you see sort of more video clips on other home theatre systems, but there's also clips on there on uh, separate AV amplifiers, speaker systems, and TVs such as plasmas, LCDs, and LEDs. So take a look at our website, and you'll find a lot more video clips on there as well. Or give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. If you'd like more details, only two please to talk to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.